Hi guys and welcome to another Divi theme tutorial. This is Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Well a question that keeps coming up again and again uh, from people is how do you remove the bottom bar here? Here's the bottom bar that comes as standard with the Divi theme and it's got a few social media icons but uh, a lot of people like to get rid of it and it's pretty easy to get rid of there's there's several ways you can do it recently Divi's had an upgrade and they have installed the theme builder and you can just click on here and add a global footer and create your own which is really easy and that will replace it um, but if you actually want to get rid of it you can customize it by going to the theme customizer And if we go to footer and bottom bar, it'll let you customize it there. Designed by Elegant Themes, you can put, uh, uh, let's say, copyright alt 0169 is the copyright symbol. Um, my site 2020. And as you can see, that'll update that there. You've got your social icons there. You can turn those off if you want to. But if you actually want to get rid of this whole bar, it's pretty easy with a simple line of CSS because if you, know, if you just want to get rid of this and keep all the rest. So I'm using Google Chrome here with the great inspector tools. If I inspect this, just roll up so we can see the bar, make sure we've got the far bar. It's called footer bottom. So there it is, footer bottom. And all I'm going to say is display colon none. And I'll put this code below so don't worry about uh, copying it. And, and as you can see, that's made it disappear. What I'm going to do is copy this from the hashtag all the way to the closing curly bracket there. Close my inspector. And if we go back, we can go to custom CSS all the way back to the root additional CSS we can just put it in this additional CSS box here we can get rid of everything that you don't need anything that you didn't change you don't need to put in there the only thing we need is that display none hit the publish button and that will get rid of it for you if you want to learn how to make the custom footers have a look at one of my other videos uh, we've covered that with a new theme builder so I'll copy this code and I'll put it below this video. You're welcome to use it if you want to. So that was a pretty short and sweet video there and I hope it's helped you out. If it has, please ring the bell, give it a thumbs up, share, comment and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.